This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using chemistry, both inorganic and organic, chemical engineering, metallurgical engineering, and others. The Hydrometallurgy Part 1 video introduced the various leaching processes as the first step in precious metals extraction. Leaching is the dissolution of metals for the eventual solution concentration and purification steps. These refining processes can be used for precious metals extracted from primary or mining sources as well as secondary sources of industrial or recycled scrap materials. Leaching is also used to concentrate the precious metals and materials by dissolving away the base metals leaving a concentrate rich in precious metals. An example of this is the concentration of automotive catalysts and mining concentrates that contain substantial amounts of nickel and copper. Multi-stage, high temperature and pressure leaching is used to dissolve and remove these base metals using sulfuric acid and oxygen. The resulting solid material is filtered out and contains approximately 40% precious metal content. The other concentration methods use solvent extraction, ion exchange, and activated carbon. Solvent extraction uses organic solvents which are mixed with the aqueous leach solution. Chemicals called extractants and modifiers are used to make precious metal compounds soluble in organic solvents. The difference in relative solubility of compounds in solution will lead to selective separation of the precious metals. Ion exchange is a process that uses small polymer beads that are chemically tailored to selectively collect precious metals from a solution. The precious metal ions exchange places with other ions in the polymer to accomplish this. The polymer carrier will eventually be incinerated or chemically stripped leaving the collected precious metals concentrate. Activated carbon is the third method of solution concentration and purification. Precious metal compounds attach themselves to the carbon particle surfaces the same way carbon removes impurities in drinking water filters. The chemistry of the solution passing through the activated carbon is most critical to effective separation. After solution concentration and purification, the next step is to turn the precious metal compounds back to metallic form. Metal recovery will require a number of steps depending on the precious metals involved and depending on other base metals that may be carried along in the process. Each of these processes selectively reverses the chemical processes to recover the dissolved precious metals either as compounds, alloys, or pure metals. Metal recovery will be presented in our next video. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials, including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.